Hi, this is Gary Kelly of Remax Executive Realty. We want to talk today about insurance topics with regard to buying and selling a house here at La La Java. Let's go in and see who we see. Hi, and welcome back to the show. We're here with Jamie Carrot of Ripple Effect Insurance in Douglas, Massachusetts. But you insure anywhere, right? That's right. We insure all of New England with the exception of Vermont. What's wrong with Vermont? Uh, nothing. The market's a little different out there, and there's just not a need for it here in Massachusetts. Well, let's talk about <laughs> something that maybe is unique to Massachusetts, maybe not, and that's flood insurance. Yeah, so flood insurance is tricky. It's definitely a hot topic in the insurance world. Uh, a common misconception is that flood is not covered on a traditional homeowner's insurance policy. So people do get very nervous. What if my home floods? Well, if you have flood insurance, you don't have to worry quite as much. Uh, even folks that do have flood insurance may not always have a flood be covered. They say that because in order to determine flood insurance, it has to be two acres of land or more, or two or more homes affected by said flood in order for it to be considered flooding. Now, I read somewhere that flood insurance is changing, it's going away. Is any of that stuff that I'm reading true? Uh, I would not think that flood insurance is going to go away. Okay. There are folks that are required to have it, depending on where you live. It could be a coastal area, even if you're nearby to a river or stream. So how does it get determined if I'm in a flood area? Is it something where I go outside and I see water and I say, oh, it must be, or is there like a map somewhere? <laughs> so there is a flood map. The National Flood Insurance Program and FEMA work together to determine if a property is in a flood zone. And how that happens, any homeowner that is in a flood zone will already know it. If you're purchasing a new home, you can find out if you're in a flood zone from the homeowner, from the realtor, or even your mortgage lender. Great, great. They've actually implemented recently something new for us on the multiple listing service where we can click and see if a home is in a uh, flood zone. Absolutely, and even if you're not in a flood zone, it is still a good idea to consider flood insurance. It's very inexpensive if you're not in a flood zone, and several flood losses happen every year for those folks that are not in a flood zone. If you are in a flood zone, the insurance is required by your lender, and it can be very expensive. However, it can companies. be like triple, right? It can be it can be triple. It can cost triple what your homeowner's insurance wow. costs. But there are now private flood insurance companies, so people aren't necessarily stuck with the National Flood Insurance Plan. Great. Well, Jamie, I, I thank you for coming here today from Douglas. And if you're into insurance, unless you're in Vermont, <laughs> give Jamie a call. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Oh, that was great with Jamie. A lot of detail on insurance topics. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Either drop a note down below or give me a call at 508-733-6005. Thanks and have a great day.